So what is a prompt? Well, prompt is any additional context or instructions added to the query. Think about this, right? So when we say act like a marketer, so now what? Uh, large language model actually has, uh, perhaps it has a lot of data that has been labeled as, well, marketing brochures or marketing campaigns, and it tweaks the probability of the next word according to how my marketer, the terminology that a marketer would use, right? Maybe tone, add some humor. It has some humor, and it will st now start to actually inject those in appropriate places. And then I, I can keep going. So this is why prompt engineering is important. And um, from my experience, prompt engineering is probably one of the, by far the most important aspects of uh, building an NLM application. So let's go with this. Uh, let's take this example. Um, I am talking about, uh, well, uh, you know, I start with the word Harry. And uh, when I say Harry, um, the first context is Markle. The sec uh, second context is Hogwarts. The third one is music. And the fourth one is also music. So what should I anticipate here? I anticipate that in the first two cases, it is going to be, well, uh, you can see, uh, you know, but um, uh, I mean, these two are obvious. This is Prince Harry and this is uh, Harry Potter, right? But in the second case, both have this context, music. Now, what, what would happen, right? So it, it might give me maybe one of the answers, that hallucination, if you remember. I mean, so there's this concept of hallucination, right? So I, I was not sure. What can I do? I mean, I, I had no idea. How can you avoid hallucination? Well, provide more context. In this case, I'm saying English, right? So or American. And then the moment I said this, both of them were uh, involved in music. But now we are talking about when, uh, well, first of first one was, and uh, first one is an English musician. The second one is an American. So good prompt engineering plays a central role in performance of an uh, LLM application. It is about uh, uh, giving more context to your foundation model. Um, so if you look at this, yeah, that's, uh, it's almost like you are actually turning the odds of correct answer in your favor. That's what prompt engineering is about. So I went ahead and actually, so I came up with this example and then I said, okay, let me go back and what, uh, what, uh, what does Chad GPT do? So I said, uh, I asked Chad GPT, um, tell me more about a singer named Harry who's popular. And it gave me um, the name of this uh, singer, Harry Styles, uh, and then went ahead. Now, then I said, no, I'm asking about the American singer named Harry. And then basically, um, Chad GPT got confused. And then I said, okay, maybe since I said is here, maybe it is confused by this. It is assuming that this is present tense. So I said, he's a, I added this, and this is my chat history, actually. He's a singer from the past. Oh, thanks for clarifying. Uh, you're asking about a historical American singer named Harry. And there are a few possibilities that come to my mind. And I think I forgot to copy this. It gave me two options. It was still somewhat uh, uh, ambiguous uh, uh, or not very sure. It gave me, uh, of course, uh, the singer that you see on the screen. And then there is another name uh, that was there.